mid-season he's gone in. It wasn't going right for Aston Villa. And from the off, he has hit the ground running and he's made some decisions, like making Jack Grealish captain. It's a mm -hmm. massive decision. Because you make a player like that captain, will that take away from his performance? Well, in Jack's case, no. It's enhanced his performance. He's got even better. Um, so that's a huge decision for a manager to make. People might think it's obvious, but it really isn't. You know, you, you're you're running a risk when you make that decision. But from what he'd seen of him in training, from what he'd uh, found out by discussions with the player, he felt it would get the best out of Jack Grealish, and it's clearly worked. So he takes them up, keeps them up, and now look at them. And they've had the result of the season in beating Liverpool 7-2. Absolutely phenomenal. The signings he makes fit into the team yeah. well. Look at Matty Cash mm -hmm. uh, at right back. Tyrone Mings, who's now considered to be an England regular. Even Ollie Watkins. Ollie when Watkins, People yeah. were questioning him when, when he signed him. Oh, are you getting a player from the Championship? How good has he been this season? Mm. The big thing about Dean Smith as well that just adds to the story is he's a Villa fan. Mm. I've known for a fact when he took over his first game at Aston Villa, he come out at Villa Park with a whole end scream. He would have been nervous, 100%. A Villa fan managing Aston Villa. I mean, it just adds to the story, doesn't it? And what I like about this Aston Villa team is that they just look like when they're out there, they're not being given a tactical overload. It's like they're being given tactics, but he's simplifying it. Mm. John McGinn, certain games you don't go forward as much, certain games you do. Do you know, like Matt Target, you go forward sometimes, you stay back against um, yeah. maybe better players, sort of. But there's not a tactical overload which some managers can do which um, puts players off. And it's people might in their heads be thinking, well, it, you know, if he hasn't got Jack Grealish, what's he got? And of course he's the best player in the team and they probably wouldn't be doing as well without Jack Grealish. But you know what? They have got Jack Grealish and he's decided to stay at Aston Villa with Dean Smith as manager. Yep. And I think there's other players who are coming to the fore as well. Look at Ross Barkley, who's played a lot of minutes and played well recently. McGinn, you mentioned. I, I'm, I think both the fullbacks have been fantastic for Aston Villa. They're a great side to watch. It isn't just a one-man show. He's the best player, yeah. but it's it's a really but, good but, team but, to watch. But people can't ever say that because we look, look at Spurs, for instance. They, they couldn't get a point until Harry Kane had to come back on the weekend and save them. So there's a lot of teams that mm. do rely on top players, and that's why he's in the team. You know, if Aston Villa had, didn't have Jack Grease this season, would they be where they are? No, they wouldn't, but they'd still be okay because they've still got some great players, Barkley, McGinn, Al Ghazi, Traore, Watkins. They'd still get goals, but you've got a better chance with, for me, the, the best player in the league. The amazing thing is, Dean Smith may have to take Aston Villa into the Champions League to be a Champions League manager, because if one of those elite, traditionally elite clubs, a Man United or a Liverpool or, or City, if they had a vacancy, could you see them going for Dean Smith? And, and we were talking earlier mm. about his name. Yeah, I mean his name is Dean Smith, and it is—it's I mean. just you know—it's the bloke. If it was Smith, Smithinho, maybe, <laughs> <laughs> maybe you know uh, Manchester United might be after him or Liverpool, but because his name is Dean Smith, it's like that's the problem, isn't it? Well, you and I know that should never count against anybody. Exactly. It should be on ability alone. But is he sexy enough for uh, one of those massive clubs? <laughs> yeah. Would he even want to? Would it work? Because what you're saying, being a fan of Aston Villa, maybe that is one of the reasons why it's worked so well for him at Aston Villa.